So, the question is, what does faith above reason mean? I'm getting questions about this all the time. So, again, now we can sketch, so let's draw. We have the degree of Malchut. Here we have Zaranpin and the degree of Bina. Bina is the quality of bestowal. Malchut, the quality of reception. As a result of Malchut receiving the qualities of Zeranpin, by that it can elevate itself to Bina. What's called Da'at in Malchut? And what's in Bina is called above reason. Meaning within reason is Malchut and Bina is above reason. So here inside the Malchut you have the quality of reception in the Bina you have the quality of bestowal we have to raise our desire from Malchut to Bina from the will to receive to the will to bestow we can't change the desire for it to become the desire to bestow. We do it by our will to receive working like the will to bestow, meaning what? That our will to receive this is the will to receive that used to receive. This is its initial state where it received we don't want to receive so the pleasure comes but we don't want to receive we don't want to accept it this is stage number two and then we even put this condition that i'm willing to receive but on condition that it's not i who receives pleasure but you receive the pleasure so, the pleasure can come, and I receive it in order to give you pleasure. This is stage number three. This is how it works. Then there will be the will to receive in order to bestow. This is the form of bestowal on part of the will to receive, meaning the will, the will to receive can receive, first of all. It can not receive, that's the second thing, and it can receive, but in order to bestow. This is the third phase or stage. Is this clear? But what I want to say here is something simple. That the first thing that we have is our ordinary will to receive, where everyone just wants to receive, wanting to fulfill themselves. The second thing is that we don't want to receive, we don't want to use our will to receive. It doesn't mean that we're disconnected from creation. We feel everything, understand everything, only we don't want to use my own will to receive that disconnects me from the Creator. And then I make a tzimtzum. 
I don't receive anymore. And then, after I made the Tzimtzum, I can use my will to receive in order to bestow. To receive only, enjoy only to the measure to which I can delight the Creator by doing so. 